All right, everybody. <clears throat> this is a tutorial on how to use your unlimited mobile data plan as a unlimited hotspot. Uh, whether or not you've got a tethering plan to begin with, uh, you know, through the official carrier. Uh, I'm on the sixty-five dollar with with auto pay um, Verizon prepaid unlimited plan, which means I get unlimited high-speed data, but I don't get any tethering. If I try to tether, it'll allow it but it'll only be about half a megabit per second and uh, it's pretty much unbearably slow so just run a quick speed test show you what I'm working with to give you a kind of a kind of the standard so today's a not so congested day as you can see pretty ridiculous speeds and basically what we're gonna do is walk through the process of installing the loophole now you don't need a root for this it also works on iPhones um, it's not obviously iPhones are more restricted as are as is Mac OS so the ideal situation would be to have an Android phone with an unlimited data plan and Windows 10 PC or Windows 7 so head over to the Play Store and type in PDA net what you come up with is this app by June Fabrics Technology go ahead and install that and open it when you're done and we'll just turn that off for now um, down here it'll you know give you a prompt to unlock the full version if you don't do that you will only get 10 minutes of activity per activation so it's definitely recommended you drop that 10 bucks lifetime license you can install it on any phone that you log in to the, your uh, play store with your google account and it'll um obviously it gives me the error but it'll take you to this application foxfy key right here and that unlocks the full version of so when when you install that in PDA net once you've bought it on any phone it'll uh, it'll unlock the full version and basically what you do is decide you install the drivers on your PC once you've connected either of these but um, I'll walk you through that as well so we're gonna turn on Wi-Fi direct for now just to get everything set up it'll give you an idle timer once you uh, connect your PC through the client that idle timer goes away so we're just gonna stop the recording on the phone and switch over to the PC alright so this is the PC part of the tutorial uh, we're going to head over to our internet browser and go to pdanet.co forward slash install. From here, you can get a link directly to the Play Store. You can download the APK file to, uh, you know, you uncheck the unknown sources app and install it. That's for if your carrier doesn't allow you to download the app from the Play Store. Uh, you can get the client app for Windows, which supports both USB and Wi-Fi and then the client app for Mac OS which unfortunately only supports USB now depending on your situation your phone and your carrier you might get equivalent speeds between USB and Wi-Fi direct mode myself I get about not not even a third of the speed through USB as I would with Wi-Fi Wi-Fi mode is much faster with my phone a OnePlus 6T with Android 9 and you know connected to Windows 10 so yeah download the client for Windows and go through the setup it'll ask you to turn on both modes on your phone so it can connect and install the drivers and then it'll give you a password on the app itself uh, to put in to the client in on your PC and now you'll get this little icon that shows up down here right it's not gonna open as like a full program uh, it'll give you options to connect to Wi-Fi, connect to USB. So you just choose the one you want. Obviously, Wi-Fi is the preferred. And basically, depending on what kind of computer you have, um, this the proxy settings I'm about to share with you kind of make a difference because I'll show you what the... Well, it might make a difference with the speed on this one, but... So we're averaging around 70. Yeah. Okay. So no one cares about the upload. So if we go over to the proxy server and enter 
192.168.49.1 with a port of 8000. Hit save. Run that speed test again. So remember, on the phone we got mid 100s, you know, 140 or something like that. We just hit 70 on the PC. And so with the proxy server, we're going to see what we can get. I want to let it find a client, for, find a server first. It's going to reload it. Now this is on a Lenovo Idea Pad, um, a newer one with a, like the i3 and like 12 gigs of RAM or so. So a little bit faster speeds, closer to 100, more preferred with those proxy settings. Now that might not seem like the biggest difference on this computer, but I want to show you the other laptop, uh, kind of like a third-person camera angle, and show you what it really like the drastic measures it can make. So, yeah, that's basically it for the PDA net. You get the client, put the proxy in. Uh, granted, this is Verizon, and I'm in a high-speed area. So, you know, sometimes congestion can happen. It'll go down to, like, the 80s, but regardless, it's still pretty damn fast. So the second place we're going to want to go is Connectify.me. This is Connectify Hotspot. Now, it's a $10 license but it's a lifetime license. So any version of Windows you get, any computer, you put in your credentials, you can activate the pro version of the hotspot. And it's definitely worth, you know, 10 bucks for the PDA net, 10 bucks for the Connectify, and you've got yourself a unlimited basically an entire home internet connection running through your phone. So while PDA net is running, you can stop the hotspot. So while PDA net is running, you can create a Wi-Fi hotspot from your laptop. You can route the internet into a wireless router, not a modem router combination, but just a router because of the uh, there's no coax you know port on the router. It's just Ethernet for the internet. Um, so yeah. But, as you can see right here, you can only make a 5 gigahertz band with modem or hotspot with, uh, while it's connected to PDA net because of the fact that that's what PDA, PDA, PDA net is emitting is a 5 gigahertz bandwidth. So that's all you can create off your laptop. You don't need another wireless router to make that bandwidth. The only problem is you can't connect a smart TV or a Chromecast to a 5 gigahertz bandwidth. It has to be 2.4. So that's where the uh, the pro version comes in and the wired router option comes in. I'll show that here in just a second. So all of that that was just recorded was on this laptop over here. Ideally I connect to PDA net on this laptop and this is where the proxy server or proxy settings really make a difference. This is with the proxy settings off. And I guess it's laptop specific because there it wasn't this dras drastic of a difference on the Lenovo, but this is an old HP ProBook um, i5 8 gigs of RAM, but it's still old dog shit. So it's even having trouble loading up the ads. See, it's definitely significantly slower on this side. Won't even load. It's 
see if we can just pull up a different speed test. So yeah, 12 megabits per second. Connected to the same hotspot off my phone. Oh, 34. Still dog shit compared to the 115. So that's where this proxy server comes into play. Turn that bitch on. 192.168.491 with a port of 8000. Save that shit. Back over here to speed test. I have a feeling it'll work now. And we're rocking around, you know, damn close to that hundred. It's crazy how much of a difference it can make and how it's computer specific. Like, you saw it was a lot faster than it was on this computer without the proxy set settings on the other laptop. So keep that in mind. Um, I always run it with the proxy server on regardless. Let's see if it's equivalent over here. This is just a, a bullshit speed test that I always go off the uh, Ookla. So anyways, now you've got your shit tethered. How do you make a how do you replace your home Wi-Fi? Well, you head over to your local thrift store and you pick up a wireless router. Now luckily this one had both bandwidths, the 2.4 and the 5, and it's only a router. It's not a modem. If you fuck with a modem router com combination, you, it won't work. But it has to be just a regular router. So you head on over to the wired router option and you start your hotspot. You share your PDA net broadband with the Ethernet, the gigabit connection. And that will run your internet from this Ethernet over to the input. And you just set up your router as you normally would with your username and password, all that shit. You come over here and you, if you can, put in the proxy settings for this as well because it'll affect the speed too. We're going to disconnect from the PDA net first. Then we're going to go look at the available connections. We got this one, which is the 2.4, and that one, which is the 5. Now that we're connected, run over here, run a speed test. Okay, so this speed reflects the phone, which is in my hand, over to that laptop, through the router, then back over to here. Now, granted, it's all one room, but... Typically, it'll be equivalent to the other, to the laptop. Let me make sure. Yep, proxy server's on. So, yeah, but if you look at the, um, we'll let this finish for it real quick. You look at the results, they were damn close to uh, 100. Nothing ever goes exactly as planned, but if we look at results, you can see, look at that. 115, 114, 104. It's not uncommon. And yeah, that's essentially how you do it. Is you just uh, so you maybe 25 bucks, 30 bucks between the two licenses and a used wireless router, and you've got yourself a home Wi-Fi connection. Because so once it hits that router, it's go, it's got that long range capability. So that is basically the tutorial, and I uh, hope I can save people some money, or hope you can save yourself some money with this uh, method. But yeah, th both licenses, totally worth it. I've never not been able to use the service on any phone I choose. So y'all take it easy. Thanks for watching.